Hello and thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be fitting a Podpoint 32 amp or 7.4 kilowatt Type 2 tethered EV charging unit. And the cable route on this one's quite tricky. Uh, I've got to scrabble around under the floor uh, to route the cable through where there's dwarf walls and I've only got about four or five hundred mil to crawl around. Uh, then it's really awkward to get the cable up to the board, which is about a two metre drop through a, a 90 degree bend. Uh, I've got to fit a breakout box, some twin and earth to the board to connect to the EV Ultra and bring the CT clamp out as well. Uh, so a few little challenges on this one. Can you hear that bell tolling in the distance? I hope that's not an omen for this job, I really do. <laughs> right, here I am under the floor. There's the hatch. Just doing a quick recce. I've already drilled the hole through the wall there. As you can see, um, I've got to scrabble around under the floor. I have scrabbled around under the floor. So I've mounted that to the wall. It was raining, so I didn't really want to get any footage of that. Um, we use an EV Ultra cable. So, uh, about 15 meters or so on this job um, I've already connected under the floor or pulled sorry pulled the cable through under the floor uh, say so pop point connected to the wall there um, so I'm just going to go inside and I'll show you how I've got the cable through so there's the cable there and I've used the one of the super rod the flexi one to pull that through there that's a really tricky route i don't know if you can see inside there it comes from all the way down there this is what i use this super flexible rod super rod I don't know what it's called twisty rod so that could get me through a 90 degree with the other white rod get me through a 90 degree hole right here's the breakout box that I've fitted so they're the wagos that, that take the 6mm I've brought the cat5 cable straight out and is six mil going up into an earth into the board. I've got to get a new RCD and a new breaker for that. So is cat five twisted pairs. I'm using the green and white and the brown and white. Just makes sense. So I've twisted them together. Give me a big cross-sectional area basically and there's a CT clamp fitted say two twisted pairs right now we're just going to test insulation resistance so this is line to CPC set the meter to 500 volts greater than 999 megaohms now we're doing it line to neutral. Same again, found volts greater than 999 mega ohms. Now line to CP, uh, neutral to CPC. And same again, 999 mega ohms. Now we just see her in the meter here. And it changes on a cold day and when I get it out of the van. So that's zeroed. And now we set up at the board the line to CPC. So in other words, we're going to measure R1 plus R2. 
So there's our connections down to the meter and we've got 0 0.09 ohms. Now we're testing line to neutral or R1 plus RN really. There you can see the connections and R1 plus RN is 0 0.09 ohms as well, which I'd expect it to be. Okay, here we are with it finished at the board end. There's the CT clamp. There's the breakout box with the EV Ultra in. Uh, we've got the Cat5 data cable out and the 6mm twin and the soft to the board, all in compression glands. Here we've I've fitted a new 40 amp B curve MCB, which is what's required by a pod point, and a new 30 milliamp Type A RCD, critically Type A. Right, here's the inside of the unit. And I like to put boot lace ferrules on the end of the 6mm there, just get a better connection with them. <clears throat> and there's my Cat5 twisted pairs uh, used as the data. Right, I'm just going to set the dip switches before I put the cover on. So 7.2 kilowatt single phase switch setting. There you can see. So we'll just set those now. We've also got to set the uh, what do you call it? I think they call it the fuse saver, but the last dip switch. So we set that to 60 amps. That's the maximum rating. So. That's dip switch 4 on. So there's the dip switches set uh, to 11011. The first three 110 sets it to 7.4 kilowatts for 32 amps. The fourth one is set to 1 for 60 amps fuse saver and the last one is if it's tethered. So there's the finished unit. Pop point solo 7.4 kilowatt type 2 tethered charger. Um, Bit of a tricky little installation uh, in places with the cable route uh, but it's turned out uh, really well uh, quite pleased with that so that's uh, another one wrapped up